Nick Delgar's been a resident sire here at Bright Hill for a little over 12 months. How happy are you with the way he's progressing? He's let down into a fantastic horse. I think people would see a big difference in, in that 12 months since he's been here. Uh, of course it takes time for Stallions to let down, but the fact he didn't return to France and shuttle this year uh, meant we had the opportunity to winter him here in New Zealand and he's really thrived in that time. The success of things with him last year has led the owners to uh, leave him permanently at Bright Hill. That must be hugely pleasing. Yeah, it is. It is. And uh, Nevin Bottega, who owns the horse, uh, has set up a, a, a big program here. He's got uh, 12 to 14 mares coming to him this year. Um, and he, he plans to race some of the progeny out of him in Australia. So it's going to be a huge, a huge help. So it's quite, it's quite a big exercise now. And, and as I say, with the support of, of enthusiastic owners like that, it really moves the whole process forward very quickly. You mentioned he's let down a lot more than last season. Let's talk about him physically. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a very, very physical horse. You can see he's a, a real sprinting type, uh, a, lot of, a lot of muscle mass there, um, and, and just a nice imposing horse. Um, so it just, it just takes time for these horses to let down. And of course, uh, at his age now, he's that perfect age. He is what we see he's going to be, but uh, a beautiful looking horse. And uh, the, he's passed those looks onto his foals. And some of the foals we've got in the ground already are very much in his mould, uh, which is very encouraging. Delgar's by champion French sire Annabar, the first of his sons to stand at Stutter New Zealand, out of exceptional Brumi del Tawa. What aspects of that pedigree are of most appeal to your breeders? I think initially Annabar was a hugely successful shuttle sire. Uh, he's left 87 stakes winners around the world. He left seven group one winners in the Southern Hemisphere. That's a big plus. And of course, there was a lot of success with Annabar in New Zealand itself with uh, champion two-year-old Anna Bandana and of course the good sprinter Ayman Annabar. So they really get a lot of appeal from that. Uh, his female family is the best in Europe. It's just one of the best female families in the world. Um, so they very, very quickly uh, can see the quality that's there and to be a half bro brother to two champion racehorses and two very successful sires is a huge help. So his pedigree just can't, you can't get better. An impressive pedigree which continues to improve. Deeds from Reliable Man and Piero must help things. Oh, I think so. And, and when we started, it was very much a European family by the Annabar factor, of course, it was a wonderful shuttle sire. But the uh, female side of his family is very much European and then in the space of 12 months we've had uh, Dalakani shuttling down his half-brother. We've had Reliable Man by Dalakani, Group 1 winner in, in, in uh, Australia as well as in Europe now. And um, Piero being out of a Delami mare, who's another half-brother of Dalgar's, has really made it a, a Southern Hemisphere emphasis on what was, a, as I say, a very much a European family. So it's a big help. His first foals here have hit the ground. You mentioned they're in the same mould as him. How do you describe them? Uh, I think physically they're, they're, they're very robust, very strong foals, they look like, like sprinting times, they've very much got similar heads to him. Uh, we have had a couple of greys which is encouraging because a lot of people have bred to Dalgar looking for greys. So, uh, but very much in his mould, very correct horses which is, is nice, I know they're only baby foals, we're only two weeks in, three weeks in with the oldest ones. Uh, but they hit the ground very strong and correct through the limbs. Uh, so it's an early stage this stage, but uh, each one that, that, that arrives gets you a little bit more excited. And all peas in a pod, very strong, very correct fold. So we're really, really happy with what, what he's left us so far. Delgar being a champion sprinter, with our New Zealand mares, how do you see that translating onto the track with his progeny? Well, he's a very interesting sire because he's also, of course, uh, half-brother to two staying horses. But I think the Annabelle won the day with Dalgar and that brought the sprinting ability out in him. Um, but Annabelle was a very interesting sire himself. He could leave stairs or sprinters and we would be hopeful that that would happen with with Dalgar. I think very initially we're def definitely going to lean towards a sprinting type of horse, but there's no doubt with New Zealand mares uh, that they will get over ground in time, that's for sure. He was very well patronised last season by some of the best in the business. Has that support continued? Oh, absolutely. And I think as we see more of the folds on the ground here in New Zealand, the confidence will, will raise even further. But he, yeah, very well supported. Uh, got some super mares for a $6,000 stallion. And I think that's going to have him in really good stead going forward with that first crop when it hits the ground. As with all your sires, Nick, you leave the service fees unchanged for the first three years. That's incredible value at 6000 oh, I think so. I mean, we're obviously very very much uh, uh, we're thinking and, and focused on the breeders at the moment and the, the sales have been a little bit flat the last few years so we want to leave margins in our stallions everybody who does business with us knows we don't overprice them to then do large discounts and I think it's just a, a, a 
clearer way for breeders to deal. They know they're getting value when they come in the gate. Uh, no smoke and mirrors, it's very straightforward. And as I say, when you examine it and put it under the microscope, fantastic value for a horse of his quality. So it's something that we, we do work hard on with all our stallions is to make sure there's value in them so that returns can be made because the breeders need to make those returns to keep breeding mares. So uh, I think as we, we see, as we start to turn the corner now, there should, should be some really good rewards for, for breeders with some of the service fees that, that we can offer them. When he arrived, you were excitedly confident he'd make a real impact of a st as a stallion. Has he done that? Well, I think we're in early days yet, but what we've seen so far, he hasn't disappointed at all. Uh, he's ticked every box, and uh, particularly now it's about that first crop, getting the, the progeny on the ground. We're really excited about that, and then getting them out there and getting them to, to racehorse trainers. And then once we've done that, it's up to him, but very much so. And I think the way the pedigree has, has, has become more emphasised in the Southern Hemisphere, that's an extra bonus with him. So very happy where we're at with him now.